just in time for Valentine's Day, Joshua Harmon's significant other, a smart and snappy story about family, friendship, and finding love has a date with Broadway. We're here in rehearsal to meet the cast and find out more about the play. So for those who might not be familiar, can you tell us a little bit about what Significant Other is all about? Significant Other is about um, a guy named Jordan Berman, and essentially his friends start to marry off, and uh, his relationships start to change, and it's how he, he kind of deals with that. It's a beautiful play about friendship and, and good people who are just trying to figure out how to be adults, yeah. and um, all of the confusion and and struggle that goes along with that. What's so funny about the play is that it's true. It's you know this theme of loneliness and looking for someone to connect with is something we can all relate to. These friendships are so, uh, they just resonated with me and, and I think they resonate with everyone. Um, just how deep your love can be for your friends and how complicated it is when those relationships start to change as you navigate your own life. When you first read the play, what made you fall in love with it and want to do it? Um, probably how good the writing was. I felt like I read it and all of a sudden I felt very exposed. I felt like, oh my god, someone knows what this is all about. And I thought it was only me. It's really balanced on both ends. You get full extremes of feeling things and watching people go through something, but also the lines could be in a, a sitcom. It takes place right now, um, so that age of stalking somebody on the internet and their Facebook profile or waiting for someone to text you back. So it's super relatable. I would be hard pressed to find somebody who comes and does not see themselves reflected in one of the characters. It's hilarious. It's very, very funny. Uh, you know, and that's what you're reading from the first page on. Then it really surprises you at the end in terms of how uh, just emotional I was at the end, just reading it and then let alone being a part of it. I'd like to talk about your playwright a little bit. What is Joshua Harmon doing? Because he's so popular, people love him. What is he doing that no other playwright's doing right now? There is nothing in the play, there's no like, um, period, comma, that has not been placed there by Josh Harmon. He writes the way people speak. Well, I think he's very brave. And I think he says things that most playwrights don't say. As soon as I read it, I called Trip and I was like, I have to be in this, like, there's no question. This is it, like, this is, I know this is for me. How much fun are all of you having to work together? It's a, it's a dream cast. It's a really, really talented group of people, um, and Gideon leads them, I think, I mean, so beautifully. What do you hope people leave the theater talking and thinking about? I think it's, uh, you know, our reminder that in this world where technology continues to dominate um, our daily life, that we need to remember how to connect, you know, with one another. And I think throughout the play, Jordan, yes, he's looking for love, but he's really looking to connect. I hope that they see a little bit of themselves reflected on that stage, which as awesome as theater is, I don't know if that's always the case, that we relate to every story. I think this is gonna be one of those moments that I hope everyone sitting in that chair feels like there's a moment in their life that's shown up there.